Okay, today's day three of construction. So I'll give you guys uh, today's update. I uh, wanted to show you uh, the cement mixer. So what they do with the cement mixer is they uh, sack up the sand and the gravel. Uh, we get deliveries, truckloads of sand and gravel that gets put down there and then they sack it up, bring it up here. Uh, then they have the water and then they have the uh, Portland cement. So they put a bag of Portland cement, so many buckets of water, and then so many sacks of sand and so many sacks of gravel. So at least it's consistent from mix to mix. Uh, then the machine mixes it up. They dump it into this uh, little wooden contraption that they made. They dump the cement there and then they use buckets like this um, to uh, haul it to wherever they need it. So that's how they uh, mix the cement. All the entire house, floor, columns, pool, everything will be made with that mixer right there. So it's gonna get a workout. So uh, what they did today is they finished measuring level. Uh, so I don't know if you can see the uh, string, string line. So the string line represents grade or where the floor will be. So uh, that'll be the level of the house going backwards. Um, and you can see it's a little bit of a drop down here. So there'll be, I believe it's going to be two 7.5 inch steps. So just imagine here is the front wall of the house. This is the uh, master bedroom. So it'll be a, a two meter or it's almost 80 inches. Um, floor coming out and then two steps down to the cement area going into the pool so basically what I'm saying is the house will be 15 inches higher than the pool so it'll be two steps here uh, then this you can see that the level goes all the way across and then each room has its own level because they're getting ready to uh, do the footings uh, for all the columns if you guys remember, there's going to be 25 cement columns. Uh, then there'll be tie beams going across here. So uh, that's how you tie the bottom of the beam. So there'll be a beam under grade or underground with rebar and cement. And then when the columns go up, there'll also be a tie beam across the top. Um, so really the walls, the cement walls, the cinder block walls, really have no structural significance at all. It's just a cement wall because the columns that are metered down that go straight up and then the tie beam across the bottom and then the, the beam across the top, that's what's shouldering all the weight. Um, again, the center block in between is uh, really just for the wall. It's not structural, uh, but that will have rebar in it as well. And then the next update, you can see all the cocoa lumber from the trees that we cut that they're using to help mark out the, the property. So they got, they've been working on that all day, getting the level and the exact position of uh, where the columns are gonna go. But the big, the big look today is the septic tank. Made some really good progress here in uh, one day so it's lunchtime now so this is basically like a day and a half so here is the uh, septic system so chamber one chamber two chamber three and uh, I gave them an idea of doing something different where uh, the two toilets will go there and then overflow if need be to here so we should never have to clean that out because only the toilets will go there. And then here is the um, three sinks, or actually it'll be with the dirty kitchen, four sinks and the two showers. We'll all dump in this third chamber and then there'll be a leach field going out this way, a four inch pipe, and it'll go out 24 feet. The first eight feet will not have holes. And then the uh, second and third pipe will have holes in the bottom to leach out. And we'll put about 12 inches of gravel there um, on the bottom to have the pipe lay on top of so it drains down. Um, you can see the fence line. See the white line? That's where the fence will be. So this is the property line right there. 
and the wall of the septic will double as the wall of the property line. So you can see the rebar going up pretty high. So it's coming along. They got a lot done in just uh, a day and a half. So things are starting to move. Uh, so the next step is uh, to start uh, doing the footings for the uh, columns. So that's uh, what they're going to be working on uh, this afternoon and then into tomorrow and the rest of the week. So there'll be a column here, about four or five across the back. And then the corner of every room. So here's a column where the, this is where the master bath will be. And then walk-in closet will be here. And then this will all be a master uh, bedroom. So every corner of every room gets a cement column that goes up through the roof. So they build it hurricane proof. Um, so that's why there's so many cement columns. So day three of construction, things is moving right along. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.